to you birthday people. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the second week. We are working with this, the energies of the second week of um, uh, the second week of second week of March hmm or what so we're dealing with the second week of March it is going to be a water water year so this is the birthday solar year for the people who were born 9th of March to 15 of March okay so it is going to be um a solar year so what we have with a solar year um with the solar year what transpire is that it's from the day after your birthday this year until your next birthday okay so it's the day after your birthday until your next birthday so um it's wonderful it, um it's a year of emotion so it is going to be good for you guys because whatever the emotion is um it can be positive or negative for you guys but it's going to be good and why it's going to be good is because you're vibrating in your own energy vibration and it's always good to have your birthday in a year where you're vibrating in your own energy vibration and that is going to be very wonderful so guys um we're going to be looking in your year it is going to be a wonderful fabulous fabulous year um because you're so aligned and vibrating in the positive energies okay so this is absolutely absolutely fabulous and it's really going to be fabulous because whatever that was holding you back you're going to be moving forward in such a very beautiful way that you're going to be aware you're going to be so awesomely aware of what is happening so whatever the issue and the situation is i see positive alignment of energies is going to be coming up for you guys um in this year and this is going to be beautiful because uh, um the situation is that you um pisces are going to be really really aligning with the right energies okay all righty okay so let's see um what is coming up so if your birthday <laughs> your birthday is from the 9th until the 15th happy birthday okay <laughs> happy birthday so pisces if your birthday is from the 9th until the 15th happy birthday i'm wishing you just absolutely fabulous year okay so let's see what's coming up for the pisces um for the solar year of 2020 okay uh so we have the empress so we we have really wonderful alignment of energies we have the energy of the empress that is good um then for the people on the tent we have balance okay but that is also good so there is nothing to worry about people on the 11th people on the 11th i see you're dealing with the energy of negative forces um the devil energy then i see you're trying to find strength um however wow guys but it's you know it's kind of good because you're dealing with energies where you're clearing up then i see the people that is um on 9 10 11 12 13 you are having a new start all right i see the energy for the star for the people who are the 14 and for the 15 i see the energy of the chariot okay i see the energy of the chariot now this year is actually um what is transpiring is that this year is actually a year of a judgment so it is a year of water now with the transition of what is happening is that you know it's as if you need to understand yourself what is the energy that is coming out how is this affecting you okay and I see that this is um, what is going to be 
affecting all of you so it's as if uh, it's a judgment call but you're clearing up things it's just like a year that you're clearing up things and this is why I say um, all the your solar birthday solar birthday um, and then you know because if you um, each year you work a different energy okay each solar birthday year you work a different energy so that is going to be something that you guys need to know so let's look at the people who were born on the ninth. What energies I see? Um, if there was legal issues and that sort of things, I see you're going within. I see you're going to be creating different things in your life. However, this is happening in transpiring. I see you're going in within, and you're going to be creating different things in your life. I see you're standing to and you're protecting your grounds. You're protecting your assets. You're protecting your properties. So, whatever is transpiring I see you're going to stand your ground and protect your assets and your properties now whatever is happening and transpiring and whatever the issue and the situation that I see is really going on here is that it has to do with your properties okay it has to do with business it has to do with um, your surrounding um, for the people who are born on the night and it has to do with whatever um, that you master in your world okay it has to do with whatever that you master in your world and this is going to be very good because it's as if you're standing ground and protecting everything that you have and this is going to be good you're standing ground protecting everything that you have and this is going to be absolutely wonderful and good so it's all about creating financial abundance, but protecting it at the same time. That is what is basically coming up in this year, is that you are protecting your financial stability and you're going to be successful doing this. So wonderful message. Um, you could be buying more property. You could be excelling. Um, you're going to be successful in studies, whatever business, whatever you're doing. It's, it's going to be looking good for you, Pisces. So whoever was uh, born on the 9th, 9th of March, I see this is absolutely fabulous. It's going to be a very successful year. It's going to be a year that you're going to be achieving a lot from. Then um, we see you dealing with an, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person and a younger person. Now, whoever these two persons are, they're very, very sick there are two sick people whatever is transpiring i see some of you want to leave an aries leo or a sagittarius it could be a mother figure or it could be a mother-in-law whoever these people are i see you want to leave these people i see you're trying to find balance to deal with it it could be a mother-in-law or a um father-in-law um but you're dealing with these fire sign people and you're trying to figure out how to balance out certain situation i see a lot of you are going to be taking on the energy of the fire sign i see a lot of you who were born under 10 it's going to be moving forward but moving forward in a in a very positive direction it's as if uh, your world is about to change and you're just moving and whoever that was standing to blocking you i see you're moving away from these people i see changes is going to be coming in where some of you are going to decide to cut these people away turn your back and move away from these people whoever these people are and whatever the deceptiveness that they have transpired whether it's a sister whether these are family member but these are fire sign people but i see some of you are dealing with fire sign people but some of you are dealing um with uh, um you're using the passion within you to move yourself forward and creating new abundance and prosperity for yourself so whoever that was born in the tent it's all about transformation and it's transformation and it's going very positive for the people who are born on the ninth you have the energy of um, three four seven thirty one and okay three four seven thirty one for the people who are born on the tent you have 17 17 you have 17 and 14 17 and 14 okay you can use the energy of five and uh, uh, eight five and eight so there is some really positive possibilities of you guys moving forward 
it is um, whatever the deceptiveness and whatever the lies the deceitfulness that was going on I see multiple um, possible possibilities and doors of opportunities is going to be definitely opening up for you now we have the energy of the devil and there and then the tower in the middle so I see that this year is basically going to be cleaning up you're cleaning up removing because in the balance of your year is that you're going to be successfully overcoming situation and you're definitely going to be moving forward so this is good sometimes you have to go through hardship in in, in order to come by positive energy now for the people who were born on the 11th you're dealing with the energy of the devil okay the energy of the devil is uh, you're dealing with negative forces negative people around you and i'm seeing a judge judgment call coming out on a lady okay whoever this the, the the females are i see judgment call coming out on you because you were stabbed in the back whoever this is you were stabbed in the back so ladies be aware of it some of you ladies were stabbed in the back and i see this lies and deceptiveness is now going to be coming out so you guys the energy of the devil is negative forces lies people who have lie and deceive you and i see this judgment call is coming down um on a, a someone and it is coming down on a, it's going to affect the latest because uh, of some deceptive situation and i'm seeing the lies and judgment is coming down on a lady whoever this lady is ladies be careful in this year because I see all these deceptiveness it has to do with an Aries whoever this um, um, doesn't have to be but sometimes it has to be so I see some of you um, you're gonna be um, either blowing the whistle or whistleblower but I see that some of you are going to be seeing the truth of some deceptive play that has to inspire some of you are going to definitely see the truth of some deceptive play that has transpired okay so um, that is something for you guys so be aware this year is going to be a year of a lot of people trying to hurt you in whatever way they can some deceptive move and deceptive situation okay so let's move forward to the people who were born on the 12 um you have the energy of strength okay so whatever is transpiring is as if in this year you're dealing with issues of strength but i see you're going to be overcoming is as if uh, this energy of strength is going to be um you're going to be overcoming so whether it's sickness whatever issues that you are fighting with uh, i see this is going to be transpiring so you find the strength and you had the tools to get yourself out of some um, deceptive situation that is going to be coming up in this year and you're coming out um, really um, both um, bittered uh, you know beaten up but um, here is a new start whatever you decide to do in this year is a yes go for it it is a very heavy year because you're working in your own energy vibration and it's as if you're cleaning out people and situation that no longer serves you and I see this is going to be good because whatever the deceptiveness that was playing I see new start is going to be coming in I see some of you have gone through so many hardships in your life uh, and a news a new start is going to be coming up for you people because I see whatever um help you get and, and however you get the help and information that is coming in especially for the people who were born on the 12 it is going to be good take whatever that is offered to you in this year because it's going to be good you're finally coming out of some hardship that was created for you i see a new start some of you could be relocating some of your new home could be coming in plain so there is a just positive very positive alignment of energy that is going to be transpiring and this is going to be good so it's basically it's like you're releasing 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 the people who were born on the I'm sorry to be going back the people who were born on um, the 11 I see 10 29 22 uh, 15 six 
there is a whole lot because you're you guys are dealing with some negative forces that you're fighting with for the people who were born on the 12 the energy of eight um one twice 11 so i see a lot of um, duality is going to be coming up and a lot of doors are going to be opening up and I see new opportunities is going to be coming in and this is going to be good okay so we're moving forward with the energy of the full and for the people who were born um, on the 13th what you're having you're having a new start because you were definitely dealing with uh, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarius some of you um, this could be a father this could be a businessman okay however you're going to be very successful over this deceptive businessman so um, whether it's a businessman whether it's your father whether it's a supervisor whoever this person is um, what is this a brother whoever this person is a very deceptive person whatever it did has happened and transpired i see you're going to be successfully overcoming a situation so for the people who were born on the 13th um i see you're leaving a deceptive business person you're leaving this person behind you're going to be very successful over this person because you realize that this person was very deceptive. Whoever this businessman is or whoever this um, fire sign person is, I see you're very, very successful over this person. I see for you people who are born on the 13th, I see um, it's as if a new start, a new lease on life is coming up for the people who were born on the 13th. And people always think it's a bad lucky number, but 13 is actually your angel in disguise so, um one in three is four okay so it is a successful year for you people who were born on the 13th absolutely successful year and the numbers to use in this year is zero it's as if the omega is as if you if you have a father in the spirit world it's as if your father in the spirit world is really 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 going to be helping you okay so it is as if if your father is in the spirit world he's going to be helping you twice a new start um some of you um could be finding out that you're going to be receiving another child or you are pregnant so i see a lot of you people that is born on march 12 is going to be finding out in this year that a new child someone is pregnant for you or you got someone pregnant or you are pregnant so however but um, it's a lucky year for you guys because you have twice new start twice the energy of new start and it was as if um, the person who was holding you back uh, it was an uh, a fire sign person it could be you so here you are you have first um, new start these are both new start so whatever that has been transpiring is like a couple year you have connected to maybe a deceptive businessman maybe your boss who is who has been keeping you back and and you know really working against you but you're released in this year so right after your birthday um, the energy is right after your birthday is that whoever this um, person is this fire sign person you are going to be releasing yourself from them you're going to be um, moving forward um, in a very very positive way um, very much moving forward in a very positive way and this is going to be good you have um, uh, you have 17 um, which is 8 um, so infinity unexpected money is as if it's in the spirit world you're going to draw it from the eater in your world in this year I see you're standing up you are so busy because you're creating your own financial stability actually for the people who are born on the 13th this is absolutely brilliant because it's to say for there was some situation that was keeping you back from um you know like moving forward like making different decisions in your life and i see that you're going to be letting go so you have 13 17 um 13 and 17 you have 13 and you were born on the 13th so that's that's very lucky that's 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 absolutely lucky so it's as if and this is what i say to people messages come in unexpected ways okay and whatever is transpiring um you guys are going to be very lucky so 
Moving forward to the people who are born in the 14, this is absolutely fab, fab, fabulous. People who are born on the 14, the star, and uh, you're moving forward. Isn't that beautiful? So, yes, some of you could be relocating. Some of you are going to be traveling extensive in this in this um in this year. Um, I see a lot of you could be um working a lot at nights, maybe um boats, that sort of a thing. But outside, pilots could be getting a lot of night shifts also. So, um, that pays much better. But whatever is transpiring, I see a lot of you. But it's going to be creating um abundancy. And it's going to happen for the younger people, like um, people between 18 and 45. It's going to happen for the younger people. And I see this is good. Some of you are going to be buying your dream car in this year, and this is going to be fantastic. So I see justice. I see happiness and joy. I see moving forward. I see um, there is going to be a lot of success, okay? You guys are going to be extremely success, especially if you were born on the 14th, because it's all about relocation. It's all about you moving forward. It's about traveling. It's about being success in whatever you do, okay? And I see a lot of luck is coming up. So if you were born on the 14th, this is going to be an extremely lucky year. So if... um. A lot of luck is going to be coming up for you guys. The star and the clover is luck. Plus, um, moving forward with the chariot and the star. And this is absolutely, it is your most happiest year and luckiest year that is ever, ever going to be happening for you people that was born on the 14th, okay? So you have seven and you have 17, seven and 17 so if you notice i always say to people it's not the energy of money symbol or the pentacles it's always about what what cards come together okay to make the message clearer and obviously what is happening here is that with the energy of success success and luck is unexplainable because uh, Things are just going to be, things are just going to be falling in place and falling in your hands and unexpectedly you're going to be like, oh my God, really? Um, you know, just not even just thinking that you want something and this thing is going to be a pair. But so it's all about having positive thoughts. Okay. So like you wake up today, you said, all right, I want to have six clients. Um, and they come you know or um yeah yeah i think i i have it, the energy for six clients today and they're just gonna come they're just gonna appear okay so however it is happening and for you the people who was born on the 14 it's gonna be very lucky now for the energy of the chariot for the people who were born on the 15 so a lot of movement a lot of movement is going on for you guys and remember whatever energy that fall in whatever date is going to be affecting each and every one of you so you have to understand the solar year reading is based on the seven days cycle and the seven day cycle is from the people from nine until um the 15th now again everyone is going to be affected by the cycle you might end up with this cycle so every three months there's a shift in each other's life every month every two months every three months okay so different people work in different vibration now for the people who were born on the 15 there's a lot of information um that is going to be coming in okay so i see you're moving forward and however you're moving forward, you're going to be receiving information that is going to give you that propel. For the people who were born on the 15th because of this tower moment and the deceptiveness and the lies and deceptiveness that was going on is coming down. What is happening and transpiring is that I see that you men 
um, 45 years and older, you meant 45 years and older is going to propel. If you have a business, it's going to be propelling. If you have an auto dealer, it's going to be propelling. Um, like at the end of the year, if you focus on, if you have a car dealer, um, or you have different business, you're going to focus on your business. It's like, as if you're going to think playtime is over. Let's say that you're always all over the place trying to try and figure out, I see you're just going to focus and connect with the right people to help you to move you forward. I see this is going to be a very, very fast year, especially for the people 50 years and older and the businessmen 50 years and older and car dealer or something that sells. I see that this is just going to propel out of control in a good way because it's going to bring you in. Yeah, it's going to bring you in a lot of uh, um, information. OK, it's going to be fast. It's a fast space year. Whatever is going on, it is fast space for you guys. OK, so whenever these two come up together, with the chariot is everything is going to be it's going to be a year that you know everything it's just fast 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 energies that is going to be coming up and this is going to be good so um so i see information a lot of information coming in for you men and um especially men in business and i see everything is going fast and, and and speed it's it is speeding up and there's a lot of speed it's picking up speed a lot of speed that is happening and this is absolutely brilliant and fabulous because what is transpiring and happening um for you guys is that uh, i see um you are going to be absolutely moving in such an alignment of energy that is going to just bring you positive positive energy in and this is going to be creating like a lot of action move that is going to be coming up for you guys okay it's a beautiful year there is no question about this year it's just that a lot of you are shedding so you'll find out that you're shedding so each and every energy it doesn't really matter from which day because the people who were born on the ninth you might begin with this energy and then you move every two months to another energy until you go the whole cycle of this energy okay and it's going to be good because everyone is going to be moving forward it's going to be a very fast year for you guys like um you are seeing how fast it's going it's like you're so focused your business is so focused and you're just moving um so fast and so good all right so wonderful news for the young people young people this is just going to be fantastic for the young people all right young people um this is going to be absolutely absolutely fantastic okay so we have three cards here and i want you to choose one of these cards okay um three cards i want you to choose one of these cards um this is card one card two and card three we're going to first look at card one so with card one i see some of you um knowledge experience and fair-minded on emotional is coming up all right so some of you could be using this energy vibration or some of you are dealing with someone with the sign of a witty so it will be an aquarius gemini or libra and it says um get advice from someone professional and objective public speaking and on emotional relationship so if you choose the first card you're going to be dealing with someone like this or you could be using this energy to move you forward so however this is coming up for you be aware that some of you could be just cutting through the bs and um whatever is transpiring i see that you're not um stopping you're not coming down you're just cutting through the bs and you're moving forward okay if you choose card two, it's more of a fire energy. So you, whoever choose card two is a fire energy. So I see some of you are going to be having the energy of the king, um, 
the uh, of an Aries lead a fire sign person okay so this is a, a businessman a strong businessman and I see some of you are going to be very innovative you're going to be very um, pushing forward you're going to be wise um, a lot of positive things is going to come in and the message for you is that a financial windfall your leadership skills are needed now and unexpected support of uh, um, money is going to come in so this is wonderful for the people who choose card two it's going to be beautiful because you're going to be creating a lot of financial abundance in your world and this is going to be absolutely absolutely positive okay it's going to be absolutely positive then for the people who choose card three it's all about love it is about family so whatever is transpiring in this year most of you it's about love and family and it says um and um the 10 of summer the 10 of summer so it's all about love okay and it's an emotional uh, fulfilled life with family and friends raise children wisely people you can trust so um, that was what I said that there was a lot of people who were going to be having new children and that sort of a thing and I see a lot of children was coming up and it's going to be beautiful so however way um, that this is basically transpiring and happening for you it is just going to be a very positive positive year that is going to be transpiring and this is good so um, congratulations for the people who uh, took card number three because it's all about love it's all about love in this year and it's just going to help you to propel you um, along in a wonderful way so I love you guys enjoy your birthday um, whatever deceptiveness that was at play um, it's gonna be coming down people are going to be seeing the truth in this year and I see a cycle is going to be over so you guys are going to be fab 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 okay so enjoy namaste